Alrighty. So what we're looking at here is a practice version of the test. And let's see what everybody remembers. Simplify each rational expression. State any restrictions on the variable. Hmm. What do you suppose we gotta do? Four? Good place to start. Let's take a four out. to simplify. So what are we usually looking for here? We're canceling. Okay, do you see anything we're going to be able to cancel out? Yeah. What? That's it? That's it. So it will be 4 times the quantity x minus 4, that doesn't look like a minus 4, over x minus 2. So there's our answer. Two. Yep, from the very beginning, that first denominator that we had, we got negative four would give us a zero in the denominator, and it would give us a zero in the denominator. Well, two looks a little more involved. All right, how do you want to start? So it's 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2. Checked it to see if it was a perfect square trinomial. How you do that is you figure out what did you square to get this, and you write it down. What did you square to get this, and you write it down. Then you take the two things that are in the parentheses, you multiply them together, and you double them. And if you get this middle term, that means it's a perfect square trinomial. And you can write the exact same thing down when you're factoring. It's been a while since we did a perfect square trinomial. Alrighty, what you thinking for the 21x minus 14? Seven. Seven? I think you let that little x go there. What are we hoping is going to happen? Lots of canceling. Can we take the x out? Sure we can. This is multiplication up here. Oh my goodness. What does that say? It says 7. Excellent. Zero. Yeah, zero is bad. Got zero down here. Here comes the other one. That's 3x minus 2 equals 0. Add the 2, divide by 3, right. So x can't be 2 thirds. Before 
that's good. Oh, is that perfect for a tiny one? Yeah, right. Put a little over the top there. Okay. Okay. Well, then be thinking about that in two days. I mean, there's a perfect square somewhere out there here that I need to pay attention to. Anybody need more time to write that down? Then let's go to number three, which looks like a behemoth. How would we like to start? So x squared minus 4, what's that? Difference of two squares, x plus 2, x minus 2. Hmm. x squared plus 8x plus 4. Five and 3. Divide by... Plus one. How about that second denominator? Five and two. Oops, that again. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to stop right now and do the equation down the middle before I start moving. Watch more math and forget about it. What can't we use? Negative 5. Negative 2. One more. How come we don't get 4? Because 4 times is a denominator. Oops, 1 and 2. Yeah. Now, this was division. Anything that's in the denominator gives us a zero. So it's flipping time. We have x plus 2 and x minus 2, x plus 5 and x plus 3, but now we're going to do multiplication by flipping the second one. New ones. One and two. Negative one and two. Yep. Our new denominators. Whew, that's a lot of restrictions. But we've done all the flipping, so now we've seen them all. Now, what do we do? Console. Depends on if you get the restrictions right. Yeah, I know. Okay. Then we'll be okay. You should show that stuff. You know, when you get to pre-calculus, every detail in every step has to be shown. So you should be okay. What do you see? X minus twos, X plus fives, so now how we want to write this since it's X plus two times X plus two is X plus two squared because now we're writing the answer and we want that answer in simplified form and unfortunately we still have two little binomials left on there on the bottom. that wouldn't be correct. That the bottom set would need to be foiled back together. And we really don't want you foiling things back together because we want to see that you knew how to cancel everything. Is that right? Yeah, we, we canceled everything we could cancel. I mean, it doesn't hurt to make one last check there at the end, but it's the best we could do. You know? It's not that we didn't do any work. We did a lot of good work. It just didn't take everything off. 
Alrighty. Now, we switch gears from multiplying and dividing, which is easier than adding and subtracting. So now we're adding and subtracting. Now, why is it easier? What do you need with adding and subtracting that you don't need with multiplying and dividing? Common denominator. So, look at our two little uh, fractions there. 3 over x plus 7 plus x over x minus 7. What's the LCD? Yeah, not really at least common denominator, is it? So this one's going to need an x minus 7 on the top and the bottom. And this one's going to need an x plus 7 on the top and the bottom. And remember, we don't cancel until we're done doing the addition of it. So this is the opposite of what we do with multiplying and dividing. The last thing we do is cancel. So this will be 3 times x minus 7 over x minus 7 times x plus 7 plus x times minus 7 times x plus 7. Now we just figure, remember, we want to see what do we have up there that we can put together. So 3x minus 21 plus x squared plus 7x over x minus 7 times x plus 7 plus x minus 7 plus x minus 7. Do you see the common denominator? That's a good thing. That means we better just go ahead and pull it all together in the numerator and keep that common denominator. So let's see what we have up there. We got an x squared plus 3x plus 7x would be plus 10x minus 21. So x squared plus 10x minus 21 over x minus 7 times x plus 7. Now, we are at the last step. We did our addition. <coughs> Is it possible that x squared plus 10x minus 21 is factorable? That's a big maybe, right? Is it factorable? It is. So, we need to give that a try. So, what would you find for two numbers that multiply to negative 21 and add to 21? Multiply to negative 21 and add to 21. We were done. But it was good that we checked. It was good that we checked. But we were done. Because the numbers were suspicious. Very suspicious. Is there a blank for restrictions anywhere? Because I think that he decided he'd done enough of that already. Alrighty, I don't think we can see what the LCD is on number five unless we do something first. What's the something? Factor the denominator. Okay, well, what does x squared minus 81 factor into? It sure does. And that subtraction, remember that's the most common made mistake in math. I'm going to change that to plus a negative seven. So what's our LCD? Cool, that means all we need is an x plus 9 on the last fraction on the top and the bottom. So we will have 6x over x plus 9 times x minus 9 plus negative 7x minus 63 over x plus 9. common denominator, we can put them together. 6x minus 7x will be minus x minus 63 over x plus 9 times x minus 9. Any chance we would be able to find it right there? No, I mean, even if we pulled the negative 1 out, we're still left with x plus 63. We don't have any x plus 63 on there. It doesn't hurt to do this. <clears throat> That shows me that you knew to try. There's nothing you can do with it. Okay. 
Well, that's the front page of this bugger. So um, you have a decision to make right now. We could do both the front and the back today. And then tomorrow would be a work day for my daily assignments. Or we could stop here and I could give you the first part of the daily assignment. And we could do that in class. What do you want to do? Stop. Ah, so review for the test of 8.4 to 8.6, day one. Um, you're going to do page 557, 14 to 26. And then you're just going to do one problem on page 520. And if you have time tonight, re-watch what we just did in class. The more repetition you have, the easier the test will be for you on Thursday.